Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Omni Bros Live. Go ahead and put your pants back on. Omni Bros Live. You got Gabe loves '90s comics here, along with I'm trying to figure out how the fingers work. That's what you said. There you go. Yeah, yep. there it is. I got a point. Completely <clears throat> the opposite direction. I got, and over here is Lou. What's up, brother? Hey, man. How's it going? Happy to be here. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. We were hanging out a little bit in the uh, the green room, I guess, chit chatting and, and stuff. We're contemplating where we're going to spend all of our new Trump bucks. <laughs> that if, uh, we if we get them, yeah, that uh, that Sentinel is getting closer. I might Are have you? to get that Sentinel. I don't. Know. Are you going to put it? You I, got, I honestly, like, honestly, <laughs> like, one hundred percent, like, no bullshit. I got some serious stuff I got to take care of yeah. than a three hundred dollar plastic toy you know but, but to be to be fair it's a pretty badass 300 dollars plastic toy oh it's it's incredible that thing <laughs> if i was single i would i would oh man it'd be a revolving door of women if i had that sitting, <laughs> sitting on my coffee table that's for sure but i'm married and got kitties so i don't need that but that 100 would get you laid son that's a fact <laughs> No way. That thing is that's a that's a that's a woman deterrent more than BO. <laughs> because nothing says I'm ready like a sentinel sitting in your living room right when you walk in and she sees it, right? Nothing says I am a responsible adult that you want to flourish DNA with than a giant three hundred dollar toy. Where I go, <laughs> look at this. It's got battle damage. Now what? <laughs> Penny dropping. <laughs> You know, you know, but this day and age, you might find somebody that really finds those attractive. Speaking of panty dropping, what's up, Omar? What's up, guys? How's it going? Sorry I'm a little great. late. No, bro, we're all a little late, man, but it is it is what it is. It is what it is. It is my what it my is. old manager used to say that. I, I, people say that, I go, I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I never liked that definition. No. Or when I go, hey, man, how's it going? It's going. Fuck you. That's stupid. Yeah. I don't know what that means. Stop it. Anyways, yeah. what's up, everybody in the chat? We got we got the chats cooking tonight, man. Sorry, yeah. we're a little late, but the moment I threw that link up and the moment that this thing went on to like, you know, the notifications, we had like twenty people sitting in the chat. So awesome! That's Shout what's out up. Everybody. That's what's up. That is what's up, man. That's what's up. What's up with you, Omar? How's everything going? Uh not bad. Not bad. You know, think things are okay here in the wonderful state of Kentucky. How about you guys? It is what it is. Like you said, <laughs> <laughs> What's that mean? No, man. It's it's all chill. Uh, it's it is what it is, man. Like you, yeah. It's chill. It's chill. It's chill. It's chill. Just trying to stay alive here in Florida. You know what help you stay alive in Florida? Hmm. Comics. But comics. where can I get the comics? And not just comics, but cheap comics, son. Don't go around spending one hundred and twenty-five dollars. $150 for your omnibus because at InStockTrades.com, the awesome sponsor for our show, you can get up to 50% off all your collected editions. That's hardcovers, trade paperbacks, standard hardcovers. I'm looking at you, Superman, Man of Steel. Uh, omnibuses, absolutes, all that awesome good stuff at InStockTrades.com where you also, yes, you, awesome people watching the show, you can get free shipping on orders over $50 or more in the U.S. You can get a extra 2% off as a loyalty discount. So you make an order, your next order, bam, extra 2% off. So that 50% becomes 52% off. Amazing customer service, the best packaging around. We're going to be doing a Omni Bros uh, discount code pretty soon. And... We're going to have a $50 gift card giveaway on Thursday's show to in stock trades. So there's a chance for you to win $50 at in stock trades. We love them. We appreciate them. They sponsor this show because they're awesome. Mm -hmm. Instocktrades.com. Yeah. All right. The show, the show is also sponsored by the lovely people out there who have subscribed to our Patreon at the $5 campfire level. You get access to a once a month live stream with us where we kind of just shoot this shit a little bit more so. Uh, that is located in the description below. If you want to help us out 
It is always welcome. It's never a requirement, though. And Gabe just phased out, and he's back. That was weird. Oh, that was weird. Uh, uh, I meant I meant to hit Control uh, T to open another tab to find our Patreon, and I hit Control R, <laughs> <laughs> and that that's the murder button. I see a question over there um, about USPS trying to tell the collector that Omnis are not media mail. And I've heard that before. I've never had issues with my postal service because their books it has something to do with ads, right? right. Like media, media mail, you can still send what DVDs, CDs. I don't know if anybody buys any of those and books through media mail and VHS. If you, get, if you collect that, if you have any issues, yeah, just, I think it has something to do with the ads. As long as there's no ads, yeah. honestly, it's your postal service. I think they're all stressing right now. It, it's it's, mm-hmm. it's a horrible position to be in because they're. I don't know what's going to happen with the postal service. The U.S. Possibly. postal service is crazy. Yeah. I, I I still have I still have a book. I got to contact the eBay seller. Yeah. It has just been a month and I haven't got it yet. So, hey, but, I'm I'm still waiting on books that are and thirty minutes from me on July fourth they arrived. Gee, you really? know what? July 4th, 30 minutes from me. And that's and the, the thing last also, thing I saw. The thing is also media mail. You got to be a, you might need to be a little, uh, a little tricky and clever. Uh, and might have to tell a little white lie when you go to the post office and you drop your books off. And they ask you what's in the box. Don't tell them comic books. No, don't tell them. Um, I just say, I just say books. I just yeah, say, say books, books yeah. or I, t- I, I tell them textbooks. I tell them college books. That's why they're so heavy. They have every right to open it up though, because it's media mail and check it, mm-hmm. and that delays it too. But yeah. honestly, I've had stuff checked before and never had a problem. But I have had a problem when, when I say it's comic books in there. It's comics. I've never and had. They, any- get, they get weird about it. I've never had any of my stuff checked at all. Like in the years that I've sold, not once have I ever had an incident where they've checked my stuff. So I don't know. I mean, it might oh, be just. I, I, I've had plenty. Um, I know that one package I sent to Jess, they checked it. You know, they sealed it back up when they see that it's books. It's not like I'm mailing him drugs or anything, but yeah, it's they do open it in, in some cases. Yeah. Yeah, you just don't it. tell them it's comics. I mean, that's I don't know exactly what you know. Some some of them, you might just get that one clerk or that one postal service worker who is just super by the book. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, you never know. It's it's it is what it is. You know, just <laughs> get it back and you know send it again or something like that. I I don't yeah. even go to the clerk anymore. I I do everything on PayPal, PayPal shipping, and then I just drop it off and walk away. We have a super chat, by the way. Yeah, I saw that. I was going to get to that. It just disappeared. Tim V four ninety nine. Where the hell is Jess? Jess he is not joining us. Yeah, he's not here today. He is once again out being a rugged mountain man, building <laughs> log cabins in the great state of Montana with his shirt off, punching bears right in the breadbasket. I can see that. Yes. <laughs> or he might be sick. Whatever you think is more romantic. Yeah, he's not here. Uh, we appreciate your super chat, sir. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Uh, TJ Gamer made a second in stock trades purchase. Nice, good for very you. Very good, man. You will never go back to that competitor after going to in stock trades, unless can't. they don't have it. I mean, that's JT, yeah. JT Gamer, that Kentucky. What's up? Is that Kentucky? Yeah, he's, he's in Kentucky. Kentucky. Yeah, he's a good dude. I liked him up until then. <laughs> no, Kentucky's good people. As long as you're Omar. <laughs> we, don't. we have Mitch McC- Anyway. Um, <laughs> uh, Let's not go there. <laughs> what's, uh, what are we talking about today, guys? Reed's Halls. We got Reed's uh, Halls then, and uh, this week's new releases, y'all. Yeah. All right. Let's do, let's do it then. What have y'all right. read? Oh, dude. Let me. I'll get into it first. Let me do this. I'll make it quick. It's the same stuff okay. I've been talking about the last couple of weeks. Uh, I finished up Scalp Volume 4, the awesome, awesome Scalp Volume 4. This book just keeps getting better and better and better. So good that I had, I burned through Volume 5. Volume 5 has an awesome cover. 
Oh man, I love that. Yeah, Shunka, is awesome. Shunka is like my favorite character. One of my favorite Shunka characters awesome. in this book, for sure. So I've, I have now completed my readathon of Scalped, which means I get to go into Invincible. But I can't say enough amazing things. I think I think both of you guys have read Scalped, but mm -hmm. this is yep. this is top tier comic books. This is. Is, I think it's Jason Aaron's like first work, really, really early work. So he talks about in the back matter here. He talks about how Karen Berger took a chance on a on an artist he knew he never knew and a writer who's never really done anything before. So this sounds like this might have been like his first work. And dude, I don't think he's I don't think he's been able to top this. His Thor stuff is great, but his scalp man. If you're a fan of this kind of stuff, this is right up there with Hundred Bullets when it comes down to just grit and terrible characters that you fall in love with. Um, Lou, you were talking about before how you, you don't, there's no characters in this book that's redeem, that's redeemable and they're all garbage. For the most part, there's a character here towards the end uh, here that actually kind of has a nice story arc where this character does have a, she does come out the other side, a, a better person. But to see her go through her drug addiction and her terrible lifestyle and everything else that's going on, really really worth the read so this is i recommend this to every single person watching this if you haven't read this i know the hard covers are some of them are really hard to find did the the, the 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 traits did they not finish the traits is that if i'm remembering correctly was there an issue with that the uh the thicker traits did they, did they put them all out or no I don't know. I don't, I have the I have those hard covers. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I like one Boss. character in that entire series. Who's that? I can't tell you because it's the very end, and I like the way that character ends up with another character that I also can't say because well, you've read them before, but I don't want to spoil it for anybody that hasn't read them. <laughs> I like that ending. I'm like I was happy with that ending because you think it's gonna end a certain way, and it doesn't. And I'm like, all right. Ah, uh, you go, girl. That's cool. Oh, I, th I think oh, I heard talking about that. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, that maybe a, is yeah. it the one I was talking about, or is it the other one? I don't know. There's one character that I really liked. Oh, um, yeah. so there's Carol, and then there's I forget her first name, but her last name is is, is Medicine Rock or Rock Medicine. She's like she becomes the uh, I can't remember her name. Tribal leader, kind of a kind of a. A top heavy woman. That's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Well, yep. I love that character. Um, but she's there, not in it that much, though. And she has a no, but she season, and then boom. At later the on, you're yeah. like, oh, oh, I like that. Okay. Yeah. Um. So apparently they only did two fat trades. Oh, really? That sucks. So there you go. We need absolutes of this. I will buy absolutes oh. of this series. I think omnibus will be the way to go if they do anything, or yeah. com compan or compendiums, whatever. They're not going to do. I know they're not going to do an absolute, but I would love to see it. Um, it's going to be omnibuses though, for sure. At some point, I'm happy with, with these oversized hardcovers. I, I would, I would upgrade to absolute because I think the art, the art in this book by R. M. Guerra, who's a Beautiful. Spanish Spanish artist. He's, I think he's, I believe he's from Spain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, is I want to make sure there's a lot of boobies, so I got to make sure I don't pull it just and show anything uh, inadvertently. But yeah, it is um, it is gorgeous, gorgeous artwork in here for sure. Like I don't he he it's uh, also the same guy. What up, Riley? Hey, Riley. What's up, bitches? What's up, man? Uh, it's the same guy, the same team who does uh, the is it the Goddamned? That yes. Jason Aaron's doing now that yeah with the uh, all yeah. the biblical stuff, but the art in here second. is just untouchable. So good, so good. The, the coloring, the, the the art, the storytelling, the character designs, ah, great stuff. You know, crack pipes look like crack pipes, and heroin needles <laughs> look like heroin needles. What are we talking about scalped for? It's dirty. I like I it. Finished, it reminds me. Of, it. it reminds me of like uh, dirty. European com. There, there's my girl. There she is. <laughs> yeah, reminds me of needing to take a bath. <clears throat> yeah, you do feel a little. Cer cer little certain little artists strong. can pull that off, right? Yeah, like certain artists can pull off <clears throat> that look and that tone that you give a book. Yeah, Arm Gary definitely does it. Uh, Eduardo Riso on Hundred Bullets definitely does it. Yeah. 
Uh, mm -hmm. Jock does all all the covers of all the issues, all sixty. They're beautiful, beautiful covers. So it's really like you know you see all these meth houses burning up. There's it's gorgeous. Yeah, there, there are some seriously beautiful covers in there. Jock really goes to town in a lot of stuff in there. It's amazing. Yeah, it's it's, it's such a good book, and and honestly, yeah. it's been around like what two thousand six. I think it's, it's when it ended. It's it was no, a it, while. It ended around ten. Yeah, I want to say ten because I was out of high school by the time this was over. Yeah. Okay, so maybe two thousand six is when it. Two thousand four. Oh, is that how we're five? aging things? I was also out of high school. Well, I know oh, because so. I met Jason Aaron for the first time. It's whenever uh, Morrison Con happened because I met Jason Aaron at Morrison Con and Scout had just ended. And I was like, dude, I have the last issue and I don't want to read it. So this is the first time I read the last issue. Uh, I talked to him. I was like, hey, it's, I've never, I don't want it to end because it's such a good book. Month after month, issue after issue, when that was coming out, that was like the book of the week. It was like mm -hmm. that. And like Chu was coming out at the same time. Like there was some awesome, just non superhero book coming out at that time. But Scalp is <clears throat> still one of the best. Vertigo was killing it at that time. Mm -hmm. They yep. they started to trim down their output, and so it was like they weren't putting out that much. But every single series they put out was A plus material. Yeah, uh, that's. I think that's because. Karen Berger was still leading the charge. Yeah. yeah. Once, uh, once she left, Vertigo just for well, it is what it is. It, it, Vertigo just kind of took a dive. It was, it was definitely a different, a different beast. It was definitely yeah. a different color. Vertigo, yeah. Vertigo was never the same after Karen Berger left. Hmm. She's the one that brought in Neil Gaiman to do Salmon. She's the one that that, that brought Chan Metropolitan over from from the Helix line, and no other book survived that Helix line besides Transmit. Uh, what else? I'm trying to think of a uh, white Alaska man, preacher. Uh, I'm looking at my my absolutes because they do a lot of great absolutes for uh, vertical titles. Uh, uh, goddamn swamp thing! All that stuff came came through her. Goddamn swamp thing! Goddamn she, swamp thing! She ran Vertigo apparently with an iron fist. Like she was very stringent and very strict with a lot of that stuff. Have you all read her um, stuff at Dark Horse? Any of the Burger Universe stuff? No, like uh, what's it called? What's the most popular one? I got an Eisner, um, Forbidden Kingdom. What, what is it called? It's uh, G Willow Wilson, Invisible Kingdom. Oh, Invisible Kingdom. That's yeah, right. I think I read the first issue on that that's one. A, it's a fun book. I like that. But yeah, so that's what I read. Next is Invincible. We're gonna do that Invincible read along pretty mm -hmm. soon. Mm -hmm. Jess isn't here, but I know Jess can read like fifty fucking books a week. So I'm going to start. <laughs> I'm to start ahead of him because I'm looking. You just got to. You just got to catch him that week, or he will forget. Yeah, what he yeah. read. But he'll be like, "Look what I read!" He just pulls off his entire shelf of books, and I'm like, "Dude, I read like, I read like six comics. I read a comic. I, I read yeah. a panel today. <laughs> I read a bunch of Instagram posts on the toilet. Yeah." yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm. I've been so heavily working on my channel that I haven't gotten any new reading done. <laughs> um, and I, I told my wife, I was like, I know that you get annoyed when I'm sitting on the couch in the middle of the day because she works from home, so she sees me at home all day. And she had gotten annoyed that she'd come out from her office and see me just sitting there reading. And she told me, like, you know. I come out here every day and you're just sitting here reading. Like you can at least be doing something worthwhile, like, like making the videos or, or something. And so I was like, okay, okay. I, I got you. I got you. So I started doing all the videos and I've been pushing those out, but I've for weeks haven't read like anything. And I told her last night, we were taking a walk around the neighborhood and I was like, Hey, I, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to put some time aside to read because I'm falling behind and I need to keep up with talking about stuff. Um, I, I, I just, I have to, and she's like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 I got it. So hopefully I can get caught up. Cause I, I literally have this, those two stacks are all of the recent manga releases that I'm behind on. And then I have, uh, 70 issues of Western comics that I need to read from the past, like three weeks. Jesus, dude. So, 
I'm so behind. when you get done doing all that yard work, you can go read some more comic books. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we're we're outsourcing that to my nephew now. So nice. once he once I trust him with all the lawn equipment, all I have to do is sit out there on the lawn chair and watch him, and I can read. You need to uh, learn from Jess how to uh, do some time management. He uh, to make videos and read. Like he's <laughs> pretty good about it. I think is what he told me. My issue is how I I'm not diagnosed. So I don't want to say like I have ADD or something, but like I have a really hard time getting myself focused. So I'll like film something in the morning and it takes me, I, I don't know about you guys, but like when I film, I will sit there and I'll be like, all right. And then this, 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 and then I stop and I like look at the camera and I'm like, fuck was I going to say? And so when I'm editing, there's like 30 second pauses where it's just me like staring out into space. <laughs> and I go, oh yeah. And then I come back to it and I'm like, this is this. And I, I told my wife and she was like, you should have notes on your phone. And I was like, I do. And it still happens. <laughs> so I do that. And it takes me like two hours to film for like what winds up being 20 minutes or less. Mm -hmm. And then it takes me like four or five hours to edit that. But I spread the editing out because I'll be working for like an hour and then I get bored and I'm like, I'm going to go watch cartoons. Oh, no, dude, you got to edit. Or I'm going to go play a video game. Because yeah, your brain, I, I, your, your brain down. Because by the time you go back and sit down again, you're going to be like, okay, where was I? You got to get in the. It's like you got you to gotta make it like work. Mm -hmm. Whatever yeah. you were doing, spending time at work, that's the time you're doing to put into your videos. And I mean, that's it's, it's what you do. Right. So you have yeah. to treat it like a job. And if you sit down and take a break to go watch TV, that totally throws your uh, flow off. So, yeah, and also Jess good, doesn't though. edit. And also Jess does not edit a single yeah, video. Yeah, we found that out. I still don't know why he uses his webcam to film his stuff. I was like, just use your phone, dude. It's, it's, it's probably the best camera you have. It doesn't have a lens but use your phone he was in like for two years i've been telling him to do that and it's funny because every once in a while in the chat he'll ask what camera do you guys use to film your stuff <laughs> i was like your your phone is the best camera you have right now jess you use your, use your phone yeah. and he orders a webcam <laughs> he's and like i've been was getting it wasn't until after he ordered and I've been received getting the complaints webcam. on my videos he said <laughs> that it's not good enough and i was like are you using your webcam <laughs> because a webcam has this thing, and well, you can't do it right now, where it, it aggravates the piss out of me, but there is no way of fixing it, where it auto-focuses, right? Webcam is constantly auto-focusing. That's just the way they're built. So when you're showing pictures, it has to auto-focus, and you lose some of that stuff. Mm -hmm. By the way, uh, Rick Nelson just posted something that broke my heart. Apparently, uh, there's a new solicit for the JLA book. If you can, you highlight his message. Thank you. Fuck, this is not. I mean, that's wonderful. I'm really happy that we're getting the Tower of Babel deluxe edition. But why couldn't we get a JLA Omnibus Volume Two? That's a right? good question. But that so this this, fills this in is okay. This gaps, fills in right? that stuff, right? But it should have been Omni 2 because then that makes me think, well, we're going to get a Joe Kelly uh, omnibus. And I don't know if they like they have this tendency to do this. So I, I, don't, I don't mind it. I <laughs> I, I personally You're don't mind that. Apart, DC? <laughs> I haven't seen that one. <laughs> That's great. That's fantastic. I, uh, oh, I think man. it works well as a, as a companion piece. Um, and, and I don't mind it because if they don't go any further, then, you know, we're not, it's just boom, Omnibus by Morrison, boom, Deluxe Edition as a companion. By Wade. Right. Cause that's and all, he didn't, he didn't do anything after that. Did he? He did Tower of Babel and the one with the, the, the white Martians. And then that storyline afterward. Is it called yeah. the only one or is it called Grant Morrison? It is called JLA by Grant Morrison. Yeah. I like how they resolicited that with all the correct uh, all the correct crap in it. So where's the Mark Miller issues though? 
right? Don't we still have Mark Miller issues that are missing from that omnibus? We still There's have the, like Christopher, the Christopher Priest issues that are missing. Yeah. So it looks like some things might be lost. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that, of course. I don't know what's so hard about just 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 keep keep putting them in order. Just keep going. Just keep going. <laughs> what? That's always been the problem with these things, man. <laughs> just just print just keep going. whatever they want in whatever order they want. There you go. And they it wonder why they, and they and they and they want and they think that we're losing faith in them. I think that faith was long lost. I mean, oh, a long time. They, ago. I said this the other day, but they they should not think we are losing faith. They should know that we have lost faith. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think they, I, I think they do. I think they so, give up. All right. So that's the solicit for justice league. That's the Grant, Grant, Grant Morrison. Yeah. Let me, you, let me look really quick. Someone shared something that also included the three classified issues. So what's missing here is that I think that's the Mark Miller issue. And then, was it Christopher Priest that did the fill in? And those don't look like they are on. 2735 and 42 are missing. What about the annuals? Were, was the second annual in that? This will be a lot easier if DC would just send me solicits, goddammit. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh, JLA Earth 1 million or 2. Doesn't look like either annual 1 or 2. Are the secret files in there? No. Eh, whatever. But the uh, the Tower of Babel has annual three. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, sure. It's it's so difficult because I almost came so close to upgrading to that oversized hardcover format, and I passed because I'm like, one day they'll do an omnibus and it'll be done proper. Mm -hmm. I might as well just get those trades. The the, the big trades. Well, fat, well, well, the, what are the fat trades missing? Is it JLA two? Earth, Earth two? 2? Is that what's missing I, I from the fat trade? I, I haven't seen that. Oh, my uh, my buddy Mitch was asking earlier, um, mm -hmm. and maybe you all know, what's uh, the quality after Tower of Babel? Like, would you tell people to keep reading? Of course I would. Yeah. Uh, the What's it called? The Dark the dark Ages. Obsidian Age is one of my favorite, most underrated story from that era. Oh, yeah. Uh, was it? When was that? That's, uh, the, that's the one with Kyle right. Rayner, the fucking man. It's like, <laughs> like seriously, Kyle Rayner's the fucking man in that storyline. Uh, I honestly, I like the Justice League Elite too. That was pretty cool. The spinoff title that kind of tied into yeah. action comics. Uh, I would almost say everything is good up until Chris Claremont takes over. Ooh, yeah, I know. So, it, it, it was Doom Patrol, it was John Byrne, it was Chris Claremont. I think they were just all talking about different things. <laughs> you all know how much I love Chris Claremont. And then that horrific Chuck Austin. What is it? Pain of the Gods? Jesus, that was unreadable. But, what was the... the Seagull, I think, came back, and then there was the run by uh, Crisis of Conscious, which was freaking awesome. And the Busick run was really good too. So th those were good. So I mean, it's it. I mean, there's some, there's some downers yeah, there. Yeah, chunk of that volume is incredible. Like the first like, was that like sixty issues or so. It's really absolutely. Yeah. For for Dude, having to blue, deal you with get blue super, Superman, was, bro. It's exactly what I was talking about. I never want to hear. I never want to hear a writer bitch about. Well, I had some editorial mandates, so I couldn't tell the story that I wanted to. Grant fucking Morrison had to work with Blue Superman when kicking off a brand new Justice League series. And that shit was great. And it was awesome. Yeah. Of course, he was back into his regular costume because I'm sure it's Grant Morrison going, this shit's not going to fly. <laughs> you, <laughs> you all got to do something. Give him a mullet, whatever. I don't care. But it was like, it. I feel, if I'm remembering correctly, because it was like 10 years ago when I read these books. Uh-huh. It, he appears and he's blue and they literally just don't skip a beat. They don't tell you what's going on. It's, it's just <laughs> Superman's blue. I love that. I about Grant Morrison. I was like, remember the dark flash oh. era? Like all of a sudden dark Fla flashes or wonder woman, wonder woman's replaced by her mom. It's yeah. not like Grant Morrison takes three pages to explain why he's just assumes <laughs> you're reading every other goddamn DC book. And that's if you're not, thing. you're missing he out. Probably, that's what he the Grant probably Warrior. doesn't uh, care either. He's like, Okay, it's still Wonder Woman. Fuck it. Like my story's not changing. That is such a Grant Morrison thing. Because if you read Batman R.I.P., it's kind of the same. Hey. Deal. Oh, 
You should have read this. Oh, it's all about four years ago. <laughs> Hi, everybody. What was that? Sorry, I'm... Hi, Gio. It's Gio, everybody. Sorry, I'm late. Technical difficulties. It's cool, man. You had to come from it. Just like the Obsidian Age. We're just talking about that. Do you ever read the Obsidian Age, Gio? Uh, very little. Okay. Um, he lived right. through the Obsidian Age. Anybody else got anything that they read that they want to share? I'm I really read. read uh, I I was on a show this morning with. Uh, I guess I can talk for a little bit. Uh, yeah, fuck you, Riley. Gio's <laughs> talking. <laughs> Go ahead, Gio. No, no, Maybe sorry. Gio can't hear me. Oh, I'm not hearing everybody. Oh, okay, I that, thought Gio was like, happened yeah, before. that ain't happening, Riley. That timing could not be more <laughs> <laughs> um, I, <laughs> I'm guessing Gio can't hear me. It's happened before. But um, I, I reread Scott Snyder and Jock's uh, Witches this morning um, for a show that I was, uh, I was on with one of the members of our group, uh, Desmond Gonzalez and his sister, they invited me to do a show with them. They do something every week mm -hmm. and it was fun. I had not read that series since it was published in single issues. And I remember having pretty like middling feelings on it. But when I reread it as one cohesive story, um, that shit was good. That was some good shit. I, I liked it. So that's, uh, I think they just call it the DNE podcast. No, no, I'm sorry. What what Perfect. what did you all talk about? Uh, we talked about witches by Snyder. Oh, Snyder's witches. Yeah, yeah. Geo, can you hear us okay now? Perfect. You can hear me too. Yeah. And and, right. and please right. highlight Jesse Christian's comment at eight forty two, the first one, because that is exactly how I feel about this. Um. So, you know, there there there's. There's this thing I've, I've I've always heard where like, you know, you just gotta take it for what it is, or or sometimes you just it it, it can't be everything that you wanted. But when you've been waiting this long for the format to come out, like this this particular series in omnibus format, you would expect them to plug in every freaking hole that was missing from the previous releases. It took 19 years to collect their best team book in this format. Wait, they, they collected Gotham Academy. J JSA. J oh. I think he meant JSA. But anyway, um, I've been waiting. You know, this and Man of Steel have been my biggest two most wanted Omnis from DC in so long. Mm. Well, it's, and, yeah, and this it's is and this is the kind of crap that you know. It, it feels like whoever's mapping this stuff out is like, well, let's make it all about Morrison. You figure they learn with the damn like when they announced JSA Omnibus Volume One, they left out the miniseries. And the first four issues of JSA because it was not written by Jeff Johns. So we petitioned, like I think it was over at the Marvel Masterworks Forum, that's how long ago it was, for DC to put those issues back in there and they listened. And you figured by then they would have been like, oh, people want everything. That's odd. Okay. Because they had already fucked with the uh, Teen Titans Omnis to the point that they went and completely are redoing that line now. Well, and apparently that line's over now with Volume 5, which sucks. Because that series, I mean, Wolfman was with that forever. So why they do that? I don't know, man. Can you can you go tell them to not do that? I try to Happy tell birthday. them not to make a damn compendium for Starman, and they <laughs> did the exact opposite. Then maybe you should tell them, hey, I think it's a great idea that you're no longer doing the Teen Titans omnis you should totally not put out volume six and beyond because that would be a really shitty idea and you'd make no money on it and They're then they'd just, be like hmm we're psychology I'm, that shit <laughs> i'm fully, they, i'm fully convinced the person mapping all this stuff out is an energy vampire and that's what it is they're just <laughs> feeding off of your energy and your negativity right now they are so out of touch with the fan base it's ridiculous like so ridiculous maybe they don't care maybe they just don't care well, I mean, the rumor for the longest time, for the last couple of years, is W like it's just, WB doesn't want anything to do with the comics. Yeah, they want to. Well. They, they just want to get rid of it. They're not making any money from it. They make they more money the from. Who was it? Who was it that said that? Uh, it, it was a couple of years ago. I think I forwarded Forbes. it to you guys. It was Forbes. I think it was, we all talked about it. 
that they make more money from a Batman kite than they do selling Batman comics a year, right? Yeah. So it's that it's that ridiculous. But it's that strong statement that's true. Mm. Everybody can fly a kite, but not everybody can read. <laughs> Thanks. I don't know that should be on a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a fear of flying kites, but that's another story. Uh, Charlie Brown. It go? says a lot about my personality. I don't like, I don't like responsibility or holding on to something and with the fear of it flying away. <laughs> I just psychoanalyze uh, myself. Oh, dude, I'm like that with balloons. I don't don't give me a balloon. Oh yeah, fuck balloons. Yeah, fuck I don't want fuck balloon. kids with balloons. Nah, -uh. my kids do not come up. Oh, pop those little fuckers. No, I just don't want. I, dude, I had a balloon take off on me as a kid, and it was I just it was traumatizing. Just, yeah, it was dude. the worst. That was the so word. I read Monstrous. I read Monst re read Monstrous. It's nice. good. Yep. good. Transformers Phase 2 Volume 11. Solid. And uh, rereading re Subasa. Y'all remember that manga? The Clamp Fish manga? Chronicle? Yeah, the one that if you're a Clamp fanboy, it was like a dream come true because all the little Easter eggs they put in from all the uh, stuff, like all their work together. I relate really to that. I've done that. All those kids in old San Juan flying Batman kites. Gio knows all about that because we've done that. Gio, you need to go and cut those strings and replace them with Batman comics. <laughs> and say, here, you little shit, read this instead. You, you ever think maybe it's their fault for just not marketing well enough? Well, I, I, yeah. I, didn't know this was turn into I don't know. The DC bitch fest, but I mean, even their movies are kind of misplaced. And have to go back better. and redo the Snyder cut. Yeah, they've gotten better though since since that stuff. I don't. I don't know. I think this 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 is a deeper conversation than you know. How do you fix the problem with DC? I think everybody that has a YouTube channel probably has done that, right? Uh, how do we fix the problem? Said, like they, I don't. I think it's a lot. It's a deeper conversation. Yeah. Hates turtles coming. Wait, did I say turtles? I don't. No, I love you. turtles. Yeah, did I say I something about tortugas? What did I say, Gio? <laughs> I, I said cut the kites. I said cut kites, right? Yeah. Clearly, it's Jeff Loeb's. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a timely comment. <laughs> I heard uh, Jeff Loeb's going to take over Cobra Kai season four. <laughs> oh, boy. And I can't wait. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh, I read uh, <laughs> Immortal Hulk Volume 6. Uh, continues what, to be. What issue is that? Where, where are you at? 25 through 30. I believe that's 25 through 30. Oh, I just finished volume two, which ends in issue 20. Damn uh, it. I want to keep reading more. Do it. Immortal Hulk continues to be, for me, the best superhero comic uh, that's right now out. Uh, it's fantastic. Uh, Al, Al Ewing is just writing his masterstroke, his, his best work that I think he's ever written. Um, he's... He's really he's really exploring even more different aspects of horror than what I thought. He's got his cosmic horror stuff. He's the last volume dived deep into kaiju and monster stuff, which is just I know that's Geo and mine's bag. Um, we love the kaiju stuff, and it's just such a fucking great ride all the way through. He's really uh doing a lot of stuff with Rock Sun, the corporation, and how they're basically shifting their focus into social media more, and it's. It's such a fucking great read, and it's so much fun. I can't get enough of Immortal Hulk right now. Um, I I from the first twenty issues, like I remember reading the first over, oversized hardcover, and I was like, "This is gonna be hard to top." And I read volume two a couple of weeks ago, and I'm like, "Oh, this is just as good, if not better." No, it keeps getting better. He he somehow mm -hmm. keeps topping himself for me every single arc. He keeps stopping himself, and he keeps getting better and better, and he keeps changing the mythos of Hulk and what does it mean to be the Hulk, and he just keeps adding stuff to it. And I, I don't know where the guy's getting his ideas from, but he is just on a tear throughout that entire story. Um, and and to me, it's it's going to be one of those things when it's all said and done. I think Ewing is going to be one of those things where it's going to be, it's going to be his run. Like pe people are going to associate Hulk with Al Ewing, the way people associate Daredevil with Brian Michael Bendis, with Brubaker, with Frank Miller, because I think he's creating that type of run uh, as he's going through this. It's something special, and I, I'm just so happy for for that series. Isn't he off that series pretty soon? I thought. 50. It's, issue yeah, 50 is his last one. Yeah. That, so, that's what, what the like artist said. Or something. And then they have, they have like one-shots and stuff along the way. Like, there was the, the Hulk 
issue from Absolute Carnage. There's a She-Hulk issue coming out for Empire. So it's 50 issues plus some bits and ends and stuff. Uh, I would say so. Yeah. I mean, yeah. He references a lot of stuff, but you should be fine just jumping in. Yeah, it's When, when he thing. references... The the stuff that he references, he he makes those references in a way that you feel informed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And there's great Easter eggs in there too for the Peter David folks or the people that used to watch the TV show. That's what I loved about it. Like I used to watch that show as a kid. It used to scare it. The opening used to scare the shit out of me. <laughs> but I mean, that's who the lady, you know, the the main lady is based on. It's the guy, the the, uh, the reporter following David Banner. In the series, and I thought that was really cool because he kept, she, it's her, it's his last name. So he, there's yeah. a lot of little Easter eggs in there. I really enjoyed it. it was, it's it's one of the best Hulk run that, ever, and it's hard to say because this is a really good question from Ross. Mm-hmm. Is it the best Hulk run? It's really hard to say that, right? Because it hasn't finished. Because it could go the way of Game of Thrones or Lost. Everything mm-hmm. is phenomenal, and then you get to the last four issues, and you're like, oh man, this was shit. The yeah. the, the ending can either make or break the series. So. Yeah, I'm excited to keep going because I know uh, he's got the uh, he's got the leader coming up because I've seen some of the covers that are up ahead, um, and the leader happens to be one of my favorite Hulk villains. So I'm excited to see what he does with with that character. Um, I read that. I started reading Haikyuu. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, mm-hmm. The volleyball manga, really fun slice of life story. It just wrapped. The whole thing just wrapped up probably about two weeks ago. Um, only a few chapters in, but I'm really digging it, and I can already see myself really getting invested and really wrapping this up. I think it's like 200 something chapters, Geo, around there. It's, I think it's enough. It's gonna be close to 40 volumes or between 40 and 45. Yeah, holy crap! Yeah, really fun stuff. I'm really digging it so far. Um, I'm not really one for like sports manga or slice of life stuff, but. It really captivates you, and it really catches your interest right away from the first issue. Um, Go read so I, Slam Dunk. I know. I Slam Dunk is one of those things where it's on my list that I've I've got to read it before I die. The the oh. thing is, once you start it, you better hurry before school starts. It, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be hooked up to a ventilator, going. I wish I read Slam Dunk. <laughs> so if you if you start it, it's it's something that's so easy to just finish like so invested in it's such a fast paced uh series that once you get past the first few volumes and you're invested with the characters and the team starts really getting into games and stuff you'll finish it within a week easy Mm. so Mm. it seems like you know 31 volumes is a a little bit of a, a a time investment but it's really not it i i read like volumes of that series within 10 to 20 minutes because it was just so fast paced, yeah. like pulse pounding action. I'm sweating like, Oh my God, who's going to make the next goal? How are they going to win? Yep. Yeah. So that, that, that was, uh, that's pretty much it for me. I continue to read invincible, um, going through that because we've got the readathon coming up pretty soon. We got to catch up to Jess already. And he hasn't started. So <laughs> <laughs> what if he hates it? What if he's reading it right now just to get a jump start ahead of us? Yeah, he's like, oh, I got a stomach ache. He's just, he's just pounding away. <laughs> <I'm invincible. laughs> um, yeah, but if everybody wants to join us uh, with reading Invincible, you can start now. Uh, it's it really awesome. doesn't take a lot of time, honestly. It's a, it's, yeah, it it's a pretty it's fast start. read. I mean, watch our stream first, then begin. Yeah. Well, that way, you know, once we do exactly once we do get to like volume one, volume two, or whatever, then people can kind of. Be in on the on the talk, mm-hmm. uh, Geo. It seemed like you had a, a bunch to talk about when you first came in. And there was that audio issue. Where yeah, you came in like swinging that big dick around, telling <laughs> all right, Lita, shut up. <laughs> Fuck out of here, Omni I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I, I didn't. That was funny. I didn't hear anything? The, the, for some reason, it happens when I'm on my on my laptop. Uh, on my tablet, I can't hear one of you, and this time it was right. So I, <laughs> I don't know. I think that's done on somebody. purpose, but that's okay. What yeah, did you read, man? Uh, I made a. Uh, I read this a long time ago, but I decided to read it again, make a video on it. It's uh, this one summer, the Tamakis. Love that book. Uh, yeah, I, I love slice of life and uh, coming of age stories and 
Uh, this was pretty good. I, I liked it a lot. It was pretty heartfelt, and you have these two girls uh, staying at this beach town for the summer, and crazy things start to happen, and they start reevaluating their life and their friendship and stuff about romance and sexuality and all that stuff. Uh, very dramatic things happen with their families. Uh, so if you like that kind of stuff, I do recommend it. Plus, the art is pretty awesome with that uh, blue pen type art with uh, hints of purplish hues and stuff. Really unique stuff. So I read this. I finished reading uh, the Battle Chasers anthology. And, yes. Uh, What'd you think? Uh, I Be like honest. This, I like the setup, but I was pissed off because it ends on uh, the yeah. worst possible way ever. And and then uh, the video game is out, but then the video game is sort of a soft reboot, and it jumps to things that haven't happened in the comic. So I'm like, can't you just go back and at least uh, make this like a prequel story and then continue doing the story in video games. I wouldn't mind, but uh, the art is great. Uh, the writing is a little bit um, uh, clunky at times, but it's still fun and you get uh, fantastic art, you know? Yeah. The art in that is unbeatable. Mm -hmm. I wish this was oversized, by the way. It's, it's a shame that it's a silly trade paperback. It, me, it me and Omar are, are okay. Yeah. We got the uh, we got the slipcase. Uh, no, but I wish they would have reprinted that image. Is it is it image that reprinted yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. They, they they are so weird, man. Like because somebody earlier, uh, Warren, I think, was talking about it, talking about uh, how he wishes there was an omnibus of uh, images, best stuff, right? And unlike Marvel and DC, image uh, image is a great company. Don't get me wrong, but the problem with that is that you have different licenses and copyrights so you have if you were even gonna do the like the original seven image creator oh, look, Gio, i'm sorry i interrupted you you're still showing off the damn artwork yeah. dude my bad no, keep okay. i'll just keep on the problem with that is that it looks like the sort of omens i love it that you have seven different creators wildstorm is not even owned like by like it's owned by dc now so first of all you couldn't have wildcats on there or Stormwatch, or anything like that. And then, oh, who is it? Like, yeah, Cyber Force. They've all, and it, like, Youngblood isn't even owned by Liefeld anymore. Like, it's a it's a copyright nightmare if you're trying to reproduce these books. And uh, uh, Eric and Larson it, doesn't have the uh, images for for Savage Dragon. Well, he said they would have, to, it would cost a lot of money to have it done. He said he would rather do the black and white books. Right. Which, whatever. Yeah, I mean, how would you split it up? But you know, you put in a handful of Walking Dead issues, a handful of you know Saga, a handful of this, and you got to split it up between all the creators. So. Yeah, well, I think even if you wanted to do like let's let's just say like the first three issues of each series, like it would be a nightmare. It'd but be easier to do com com copyright nightmare. Comicsology's got a lot of those first issues for free a lot of times, so that's well, probably the best bet. Uh, do you want to do halls? Who's got halls? Who's hauled? Mine is in limbo right now because of everything going on. I just got one book. I got one book from Jess, and that's it. Hey, Omar, you can't tell them at that post office to hold it for you, and you can just show up and pick up the package. That's not a thing you do. I mean, I can call them, but they're it's it's insane. I don't know which one. Like, it's thirty minutes from me, but I don't know which location it's at. They have different post office, and I would have to put in a case. So okay. I thought about that like a week and a half ago, but usually these things kind of resolve themselves, right? By the time I put in a ticket, they're, they I usually get it. Yeah, this has just yeah. been a really weird thing lately. Yeah. I still don't have that Aliens uh, hardcover that I ordered off of eBay. Like I said, it's been a month. They're just gonna refund me. I think I'm just gonna just buy it off of Amazon. Well, you live next to a major hub, right, Omar? Like that's that Kentucky one? No, I thought it no, was. No, that's in Louisville. So that's okay. about an hour from me. But still, you know, it's, it's. I think it's everything going on. I don't. I usually don't mind waiting, but now it's kind of getting. I don't know. It's kind of weird. I don't like when things aren't updated. I don't mind it if it's like, it's on the way, but we're running late. But now mm. it's just literally like sitting there. I. Th I think it's probably just sitting there and it hasn't been picked up and scanned, and they've just uh, ignored it, and it's just sitting there. That's probably because what well, because it's media mail, right? It's not yeah, important. Right now, yeah. Too. They yeah. A minute. All right. Uh, did you get anything? 
Uh, I got some books I can show you guys. Uh, yeah, man, would you get something from me? Them on the channel. Uh, I did. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have it with me because I was uh, cleaning some stuff and I left it. And I don't have it with me on the broadcast table here. So I apologize. You jerk. But it, I know. I'm terrible. But I got uh, Berserk Deluxe Edition Volume 5. How far did you read uh, into Berserk, Gio? I'm up to date. How far did you make it? You're, you're up to date? Awesome. Yeah, I have all, I have all the volumes. It's just I'm upgrading my older ones. I'm giving them away to a friend so he can read it for the first time. And I can buy the deluxe editions. As well as uh, you should. Yeah. yeah. Good man. Good man. So I got Kaiju Max uh, Volume yeah. 2. That's one I'm waiting on. Like, still no, <laughs> nowhere to be found. Puerto Rico instead, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so, spoiler alert, uh, this is your copy. I have it. I talked with the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> to Puerto Rico. People. No, they have to have to send it to Jess first. And then send it to Puerto Rico. Gio's yeah. going to be, Gio's gonna be showing you the whole haul, and it's just every single book you had. That looks fucking familiar. All your books. <laughs> and Wait a minute. <laughs> I got the Street Fighter Classics. Uh, volume My man. Three. Yeah. Ooh. And Volume 3. But this is the sad part. Volume 3 oh. is pretty banged up. Uh, this is Volume 3. Did Ooh, you pay? Yeah. What, what, what condition was it supposed to be in? I knew because it was from a store, and I believe this is out of stock in most mm -hmm. stores. But so what did you – did you email them? Oh, shit. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Uh, yeah. 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 What, what did you do? Rejected uh, your friend. Nothing. Let me write the email for you, Gio. Let me write the email for you. I mean, it was sealed and everything. In the Gio, let me write the email for you. <laughs> All right. Okay. You I'll get you either. Fuckers. I'll get you either a huge ass gift card or banned. Those are the chances but, you're willing to take. <laughs> yeah. So that, that's. I, I. You guys want to see some manga? I don't know if you guys want to see manga hauls. Oh, that's yeah, all my whole. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, you just showed us berserk, man. Keep it going. Here's my hair academia volume twenty four. Yeah, the villains are good stuff. Uh, Demon Slayer volume thirteen. I gotta catch up to some Demon Slayer, bro. Yeah. Volume 12 of Demon Slayer. It's done, uh, and I have it all. I just need to read yeah. it. Dr. I'm just Stone, waiting for perfect 11. editions. Every time I get ready to jump on a series, I'm sure they're gonna do a perfect edition like Beastars. Yeah, then keep Beastars. Damn, look at that furry cover, boy! <laughs> <laughs> Weren't you accused of being a furry lover on yeah. your video? What was yes. it? That's making, me, that's making me feel a certain way. <laughs> yeah, but Beastars is great. I mean, if you want to watch the show, you can do that. But I, I prefer the manga. That art is fantastic. Hmm. You prefer it over the anime? It, it's two different experiences. I was saying on the manga collecting show that we're doing on Thursdays, and it's a different experience. The anime is very CG heavy. It looks Yeah, good. I don't like that is, look. It, if you don't know about the manga, you're going to have a fun time with the show. But if you read the manga, it has such a unique feel compared to stuff like this, uh, Dr. Stone, where this almost feels like you're reading a manga version of a Euro comic. It's that kind of art style, to me at least. And I don't know, it's two different uh, re uh, viewing experiences, I guess, with the two mediums. But I do prefer the manga over the uh, anime. So this volume, I'm behind one volume, by the way. I know volume seven came out. But this, uh, the midway point is where the anime ends. So if you're curious where you should start reading after the anime ends, it's this volume right here. That cover, man. <laughs> like, it's kind of creeping me out and making me feel funny, too. Like, what is that called? <laughs> I think it's a mean, condition. It? What is that condition called, Riley? I feel like you've gone through it. Like, eh? like you feel like you're turned on, but you feel dirty and it's wrong. What is that called? I don't, why am I supposed to have the name for it? Because <laughs> I know you got a name for it. <laughs> yeah, so that's all I hold. All right. What'd you get there, uh, Riley? The guy? 
Yeah, okay. So I, I'll zoom through because uh, it's all just a bunch of manga. I did get Kaiju Max 2 as well, but that's yeah. on my Kaiju shelf, which is outside of my library. <laughs> it's called Catholic Guilt Shame. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> that could be true. It's called being Catholic. That's right, I oh, am. Okay. That's what it's called. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. All right, so we got New Series Act Age Volume 1. Nice. Black Clover Volume 21. Demon Slayer 12, 13, and 14. Damn, Shit, he got 14, Gio. He's like, where are you at? Gio's four. <laughs> I got uh, Dragon Ball Super <laughs> Volume 9. Do what? You just one up Gio. Yeah. yeah, I just That's... I just got it uh, a little earlier than than Geo did, but but they're doing it monthly now, so it just happens that like all of the delays coincided with when they started doing it monthly. So all of a sudden, boom, three at once. Um, Dragon Ball Super Volume Nine. This one goes past the anime, no. uh, so this this starts adapting or not adapting. This starts the Moro arc, which is a new villain that they introduce that spins out of stuff as early as like. I think he connects back to the Piccolo arc of Dragon Ball. How did uh, how does wow. that can like go further than the anime? If the anime is over a hundred and something episodes, because the anime sucks balls. That's why Dragon Ball um, Super sucks balls. Yeah, the anime was terrible. What? It was way too drawn out. That the tournaments, the tournament was like seventy episodes out of a hundred and thirty or something like that. That's the way it should be. That's the way that you make shitty anime. No, like, guys, we grew up with Frieza destroying a planet in five minutes. Yeah, and it had gravity to it. But the no, it didn't. Tournament... All right, it's cool. Anyway. Man. You're wearing a anyway, Capsule that, Corp. Take that what? fucking hat off. Omar, you know what? <laughs> Let's get you on a Thursday show, and we'll we'll duke it out on there. On, okay, on all right, the deal. Bros. Uh, Dr. Stone, I almost said Dr. Slump, because we're talking about Toriyama. Uh, 11 <laughs> and 12. Like Damn three it. people got that joke. I'm <laughs> ahead of Geo again. Um, final Damn volume it. of Food Wars. The most fan servicey food manga ever. Uh, volume four of Jujutsu Kaisen. Oof, nice. Seven of Komi Can't Communicate. Jesus Christ, I don't know any of these titles. I'm so old. <laughs> I know that one. My Geo just Academia. showed it. Just showed it. He just showed it. One Punch Man. I, I know that one. The best. Promised Neverland. That one I think wrapped up or is close to. Uh, Spy Family, Volume 1, another new series. Here's one that Gio will be happy about, Mob Psycho 100. Ah, oh, the best. That's, the uh, of... who's, whose series is that? The guy, one, that? the guy that did One Punch Man. One Punch Man, that's right. Uh, Way of the House Husband, Volume 3. This one won the Eisner for Best Comedy Publish, Publishing nice. Publication, I think is what it was. Uh, Hell's Paradise, Volume 2. B stars with the nice cover, volume six. There's my girl. Yeah. Uh, you're say Yatsura, volume six. That's Geo's, or that's uh, Omar's girl. That's that's mm -hmm. that's more my style. There, seventies manga. Uh, <laughs> I need to get that one because I don't have that one yet. Uh, Dead Dead Demons number eight. Golden Kamui, volume sixteen. Drifting Classroom, Volume 3. I need to pick those up, too. That's the yeah. end of that one. Knights of Sidonia, Volume 6. I think there's one more after this of the Master Editions. God damn, boy! Ugh, Berserk, that, Volume that, 5. That's really all you need. And Helsing, Volume 1. Uh, I just good, made the video about this one a day or two ago on my channel, so if anyone's curious about it, uh, don't watch anything that Omar puts out. Just watch my video. Wow! <laughs> Damn, I can agree with that. <laughs> I'm gonna. That's how I'm creating uh, a YouTube uh, rivalry right here with a guy from our own channel. I'm just gonna be like, "Fuck I, you!" I, I think there's already a channel Friendly that does rivalry. that. Uh, Omar sounded like a grandpa when it comes to man. Back in my day, manga was hand drawn. <laughs> now you got Back a bunch in my of day, CG backgrounds in your. Back in my day, everything was either. Rumiko Takahashi or Clamp? That's right. <laughs> now it's a bunch of, I don't know, computer-generated software that writes your shit. Now it's a bunch of furries. You guys in your manga <laughs> studio? Oh, you want to see the... If that oh, wait, you, Omar. what is that? Uh, no, nah, that... <laughs> that's what I'm talking I was, about. I was trying to show Omar the cover to Volume 3, though. 
And we just <laughs> demonetized. Is that a bunny rabbit? Look at that dress, yeah, boy. That's, that's a bunny rabbit. You know, I'm not into furries, but those are pretty hot. <laughs> <laughs> I want that on a t-shirt. And I'm not furry shaming anybody if you're into furries. Yeah, that's your... All I right. Am. I will. Um, Omar's not going to do it. I will. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so hopefully man, I'll make I wish Civil I wish is better than uh, Civil War 2. I wish Jess was here. It would have been all six of us. It's been so long since we've done this together. Um did any of you all haul anything? Yeah, I got some more stuff. I got stuff. Okay. Thanks. I got what some you... stuff. All right. So let's see. <laughs> wow, what's Check. wrong with you guys? <laughs> <laughs> You're where, just discovering this now. Where do you want me this to is, start? This yeah, all this all should have been seat. Pull up a seat. We've been doing this show for four years, and this is just hitting you now. This all should have been saved for Omnibros After Dark, though. Oh, that's where we can take a, yeah, a deep dive into B stars. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. So, what, do you right. Got, man? what up, everybody? Here's what I got. Got the uh, Batman Ooh. Aliens. You just keep shoving those down our faces, man. Look, <laughs> look at this that will never be reprinted. Look how badass this is, bro. Yeah. I know. Like, and you just find them. Damn it, Gabe. <laughs> like, I've been looking so hard for that Batman Predator fucking trade you showed off a couple of weeks ago. It ain't oh, cheap. That Batman Predator one's fucking no joke to try and find these days. This is awesome, too, because there's a story in here. You get... Here's the great stories in this book. It is... Uh, does, does it have the uh, Watchmen JLA storyline? The JLA uh, alien it story? A, it has the Wildcats aliens, yeah. Wildcats aliens, uh, yeah, that's it. So Batman Aliens, Batman Aliens 2, Superman and Batman versus Aliens and Predator. And then we just said the Wildcats Aliens number one, which up until this point was only collected in that uh, that last orbit uh, Stormwatch uh, trade paperback. But the Batman, Superman, Predator, Alien is awesome because it's uh, Olivetti doing the art. Oh, yeah. I like his old, stuff. Dude. Yes. Nice. That stuff's beautiful. And I really enjoy the uh, Wildcats alien stuff because it's just Stormwatch characters just getting just manhandled by, by Xenomorph. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is the story that takes place bef like in those uh, two volumes of Stormwatch. So when yeah. like half the team is missing, this is why. And this is what turns into authority. The leftovers of, uh, of Stormwatch. Yep. Show that. yep. Mm -hmm. So, really good stuff here. But yeah, so another great book that's never going to get collected again. I uh, got a bunch of single issues that I'll burn through real fast, Riley style. I thought you were going to say uh, you're going to burn them. No, no, no. No, I'm going to do that. <laughs> I'm going to torch these books for religious reasons. What do you know that we don't? What, what do you know that we don't? Is there a young blood? Is there a Die Hard movie coming out? No. It's I can't Gold I can't Gold, believe Omar. I remember that guy's name, Die Hard. <laughs> oh shit! And, yeah, and when you flip it over, this one this should have been the gold foil side, but look at that Jay Lee cover on the back. Wow! Look at that. Nice. That's a great Jay Lee cover. That's not going to cause any controversy. <laughs> <laughs> Am I bad for having thought that his name was pronounced Jai Lee until like six years ago? I'm sure a lot no. of people did. Uh, profit number, uh, profit volume two, number one, hollow foil cover. Look at that '90s goodness, man. Yes, sir. Stephen Platt, son. Oh. Uh, profit did, San Diego Comic Con exclusive from 1995. Did you find him like in a quarter bin? <laughs> I got these off of Where a, did you uh, find these? Uh, a Facebook live sell from uh, Jimmy J from uh, Amazing Las Vegas, the Amazing Comic Con. Mm. He did a live sell and he had an awesome, extreme stuff. So I was like, dude, I'm grabbing all that stuff you got. But do you have bl what the hell was the name? Blood Pool? Do you have Blood Pool? The, uh, Pat, the Pat Lee uh, series that was like, it was. It came out at the same time Newman came out. Not Seinfeld Newman, but Newman. I know what you're talking about. You know what I'm, I'm talking about? Sure. Yeah, Matsuda was working on New Man and Todd Knock, and then there was Blood Pool. Man, uh, you guys ready for this? Yeah, what yeah, else you got? I don't know. I got some some Joe Mad Love. I got this big. Oh, old I love that cover! Look at that cover! That's oh, a good, yeah, that's a, good, that's a good cover, man. And then Justice League versus Suicide Squad. Oh, you went Joe Mad out. 
Yeah, I got a big old lot. Uh, Justice League, this is the sketch cover from uh, mm. Harley's Little Black Book, number okay. six. Damn, dude. This is the digital inking or whatever cover. The colored cover. Damn, Gabe. Theo's going to love me here because I got Inhuman. Nice. The best. And then I got <laughs> the three cover connecting Batman 50. Oh, I'm the Joe gonna... Mad. Joe, yeah, this is all Joe Mad, dude. I got a big old nasty Joe Mad lot. All signed by Joe Mad. Any of these getting hanged up, man? No, I don't have room to hang shit up. I'm going to just put, throw this in a pile and forget about them. You got that red Monica cover back there. I know you got two copies. You're going to send me one, right? I got, I got like three copies of that. I God think. damn. What do you need three copies of that for? <laughs> I, I used to have that house. I think I still have that house of M. I love this house of M cover. This it was is... a Chicago. It was like a Chicago exclusive cover yeah. or something. Like Wizard Comic Con or something. Is that a wraparound? It's a, it's a wraparound. Yeah, let me pull yeah it it's a wraparound. Like none of these characters are in the damn book, but whatever. Joe Mad drew it. <laughs> Spider Man's in the book. Ooh. Yeah, but they don't look anything. <laughs> He's like, okay, sure, I'll draw Hulk, Wolverine, and uh, Spider Man. <laughs> what is this, a Marvel Capcom game? Yeah, sure. I was happy they used this image for like, a Marvel Capcom game, too, or something, or a poster. Uh, oh, this is great. Uh, Danger Girl. What's the Joe Mad cover? I didn't even know he did nice. a cup. Damn, that doesn't even look like him. That looks like Ed Bennis. Like that one, in the chick in the middle. Hmm. Gio's going to love me for this. Got the unnatural cover. Hell Is yeah. that the furry nice. book that he reviewed? Yeah, that's the other furry book. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and Omar's gonna love me for this. Where well, you got Gambit? Gambit? No. Oh, oh god, even worse. Ultimate <laughs> three. Uh oh, Ultimate three man. one. Ultimate three one villain cover. These are all pull out wraparound covers too. Oh mm -hmm. god, Ultimate three was holding. Volume Jeez. number two. Number three. This is when his like his art became. Oh man, don't ruin those. You know, this when he work. wasn't he wasn't getting inked anymore. And it was really kind of different. He'll go down from a quarter to like ten cents. Um, that cover is he, badass. I love that cover. Uh, I I like it, but it was so different than his older stuff. Like somebody did. Who was the inker on this? Do you remember? I think it wasn't inker. This is just straight from his pencils. No, there was some heavy inking on the work. Like if you open up a page, um, you can you can tell like the. They used like a fat ink pen on the bodies and stuff. It looked different than his other stuff. Oh, no, Not that this, I... is all, this is all shot from pencils, it looks like. Hmm. Speaking, all of shot from pencils. Speaking of Jeff Loeb, were we talking about Jeff Loeb? Oh, yeah, we did earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we did. I said he was going to be taking over Cobra Kai. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought he was going to do a new Shang-Chi series. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, can you tell David to get Marvel to publish a furry sized version of Marvel care? Yeah, Squirrel Girl and I don't, who's who's the other furry at Marvel? Black Panther. Hey. Black Panther. <laughs> that is not a furry. The He's a, it's a, a Panther's furry. Sabretooth. Feral. Why are you guys uh, thinking? Tigra. Don't stop stop thinking. Geo Geo's, na Geo's naming them off like right off the bat. When to go? What? Yes. <laughs> Sasquatch. Wolverine is first. Yes. True. Especially he, when he, he is, lost his nose. He is so oh, not yes. furry. That was the best. He, All right. Maybe, maybe when he lost his stupid ass nose. What's uh? What's her name? Uh, Wolfsbane. Yep. B oh, Feral. Feral uh, and her Sauron. sister. Sauron. Yeah. He doesn't, doesn't have, have any he's hair. He's a yeah, he's a scaly. Still, Still what the hell's the definition of a furry? <laughs> the fucking definition of a furry animal. should be it should be furry, right? No, no, it doesn't necessarily have to have fur. I'm done with this. I'm yeah. done. I'm done with this generation, y'all. This I'm, is this I'm is what did out. it. This is what did it. Not anything else, but Omar's pissed because I'm, I'm done with this generation. Because the definition of furry doesn't meet his definition. <laughs> it, the definition of furry doesn't meet his, meet his standard, so he's tapping out of this generation. I'm done. <laughs> All oh, right. What, what made you? What made you pick up number two? Because of first appearances, lots of first different appearance characters. Are robots, Rexplode, Adam Eve, and Duplicate. So it's a lot of the uh, 
like other main characters that isn't Invincible and his dad, who were first appearances in number one. So, 9.8 of that bad boy. Wink, wink, collectors. Wink, wink. Wait till that trailer drops. And What's the wink, wink for the all chat? the Joe Mad stuff? Somebody's asking him for a close-up of this. Oh, there, there's my girl. Mm. Oh. Yep. Now, that's a stamp foil cover I don't mind supporting. <laughs> I'll give you my Youngblood Strike Files issues two and three and my Blood Pool number one. <laughs> Not signed by <laughs> Pat Lee. All right, and that's I'm it for my So someone knew exactly what that was because that's the the it's covered behind you. Oh, that's someone, that cover stands out. You can see it from. Yeah, top. yeah, we know it's the Red Monica cover. Yeah, I am. I'm a very different person. Omar, Omar, saw, <laughs> Omar's entering the literal term like many old timers, myself included. <laughs> what do you mean a furry doesn't have to be furry? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I hope I hope the cartoon. Blows Omar up. not seen a hairless cat. <laughs> I'm, I'm a, you know what? I'm not even going to comment on that because we ain't going to get demonetized. Um, but I hope the show blows up for you, Gabe, and you're able to flip those for like three times as much as you paid for them. You buy well, you a I'm in. I'm ready for it. I know what's what. I know what I'm doing. All and right. Even if not, it's a cool piece anyway. Yeah. Yep. All right. Uh, let's look at books coming out. Yeah, man, we're already in, man. It's almost an hour and a half already. Holy Shit. crap. I told my wife I'd be here an hour. Okay. All right, I everybody, like. give us a thumbs up, all of you, everybody watching. We got 169 dudes watching. Oh, nice. nice. So let's go into uh, We'll get this started up. All right, everybody, here we go. This is this week's releases for uh, Wednesday, July 29th. You'll be able to find these on our awesome sponsor, InStockTrades.com's website tomorrow, uh, 12 noon Pacific time, 3 p.m. Eastern time. So get that F5 ready to go. Uh, we'll go ahead and let's start off with Image Comics. We got Hardcore, uh, excuse me, Hardcore Trade Paperback Volume 2 Reloaded, Heart Attack Trade Paperback Volume 1, Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips' uh, new book, Pulp, uh, Spawn Vengeance Trade Paperback, and The Walking Dead, The Alien Hardcover. That was a, uh, a local comic shop day thing. This is written by Brian K. Vaughn. Uh, Walking Dark Dead. Horse. Walking Dead is written by Brian K. Vaughan? Yeah, this is the one issue of uh, Walking Dead's not written by uh, Robert Kirkman. Robert mm -hmm. Kirkman convinced Brian K. Vaughan to put Private Eye into print. Mm -hmm. He let him write uh, Walking Dead. Nice. It's the best issue of The Walking Dead is what you're telling us. More likely. Probably. Besides issue 47, where everybody gets murdered. <laughs> Uh, Dark Horse, we got Critical Role, Trade Paperback Volume 2, uh, Cuphead, Trade Paperback Volume 1, uh, Disney's Mulan, story of the movie in comics, because that movie's not coming out anytime soon, and Onward. Not if Jeff Loeb has anything to say about it. Oh, man. Uh, Plants vs. Zombies, uh, Garden Path hardcover. They put out so much Plants vs. Zombies books. Uh, Stranger Things, uh, the Bully graphic novel tree paperback, and Stranger Things tree paperback volume three, as well as World of Cyberpunk 2077 hardcover and hardcover deluxe. Nice. Hmm. IDW has Panda Roja, uh, Red Panda. That means Red, Red Panda. Red. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Oso Lunar. I wonder if it's in Spanish. It's a Spanish uh, it's edition. A Spanish edition. Yeah. Yeah. Spanish edition. Thanks, guys. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. uh, DC Comics this week. It's up here. <laughs> Maybe. 
Yeah. <laughs> uh, Deathstroke, uh, RIP, trade paperback. Lucifer, trade paperback, volume three. Wonder Woman came back, come back to me, trade paperback. And Wonder Woman, War of the Gods. What? That's actually coming? No, uh, flip a coin. We'll see. <laughs> like, I really yeah. thought this was postponed. It probably still is. We'll see what happens. Uh, so somebody was asking earlier where this fits in. This is the tail end of George Perez's run on Wonder Woman. This is literally his last story, and it contains what is known as the Red Skies crossover events. So, like, the demon. Seven, the demon? That one, Burn had that run. Um, Batman 470. Yeah, so what you really need out of here is War of the Gods and the Wonder Woman issues. This is for completest sake. If you already have Wonder Woman Volume 3, I suggest just keeping that. But unless you're an idiot like me, you know, double dip and get this. Because yeah, it has the Demon 17. Ooh, and Captain Adam, number 56 and 57. Yeah, so Rick Nelson's asking, isn't this most already collected? Yeah, the issues of Wonder Woman and War of the Gods are all collected in Volume 3. But, you know. If you're just like, oh, I'm in the mood to read War of the Gods. You know, what's interesting. This is the first time, um, I think it's issue three or four, that Phil Jimenez had any published work done. Like, I think it's in War of Gods issue three or four. And he's just like, it, it's literally a page or two. My favorite and part is a white box right in the middle of the cover. I'm sure they'll get rid of that or put a big DC stamp on it. We're not. Or just leave it like that, yeah. Yeah, the cover for that omnibus, uh, you can see it in on Amazon if I remember correctly. If you want to check that out, and it has a bigger white box. <laughs> it's good for the event collectors, like Derek Tyler said. Yeah, Probably. yeah, that's that's why it's got me kind of scratching my head because I have like all the other event omnis, but at the same time, I know I don't really care about. You the don't have you don't have the properly. rebirth omnibus, do you? Fuck that. Mm, I have see. the hardcover. See, no, nah, it doesn't count. You're not a real fan. <laughs> no, but I don't have the brightest day omnibus. So, oh, you are definitely not a real fan. Oh, and that story wasn't that great. Yeah. All right, uh, Marvel this week we have uh, Adventure into Fear omnibus. We also got Avengers Epic Collection. Uh, this beachhead. Avengers live. That's the, that's the Kree Scroll War stuff. The Avengers Epic Collection Beachhead. I love that, uh, that uh, Black Panther cover, that furry cover right there. <laughs> right, furry. Black Panther furry. He dresses up like a like a like a like a cat. Okay. <laughs> uh, and in Marvel Verse graphic novel uh, trade paperback Captain America, and the Marvel Masterworks. We have Marvel Team Up Volume Seven, the regular cover and the DM cover. And then we have Miss Marvel meets Marvel Universe graphic novel, Silver Surfer trade paperback parable, mm -hmm. Spider Verse trade paperback Spider Zero, and Star Wars Rise of Kylo Ren. My wife reviewed Spider Zero. She thought yeah. it was cute. Mm -hmm. uh, Dynamite this week has Crackdown. Dynamite, which I, I love that video game. I cracked that video game. It was so much fun. And boom, this week we have Bill and Ted Omnibus Trade Paperback. I wonder why. Yeah. Like a movie coming out or something. Uh, Giant Days Trade Paperback Volume 13. Jesus. Uh, Ryan wow. Island Trade Paperback Volume 2. And Wonder Pony. Original graphic novel. And then here's the other section, and we'll just kind of scroll through like we do and see if anything kind of stands out that people want to talk about. Ooh, that Art of Horizon Zero Dawn is probably going to be badass, right? That's going to look good. If you want to learn about manga, you can watch Thursday's show where I went over the August solicits with the fangirls. So I'm not going to cover the manga section here. I'll at least point out if there's anything I wanted to grab. You guys should be reading Ronin Island. It's pretty fun. I'm, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, it's good. Wait, Ronin Island, the Greg Pak story? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, my wife thought my wife and daughter reviewed that the, the first four issues last year. The that was pretty good. Score, high school girl is one I'm picking up. High school girl. High score. High school girl. That's the one that got in trouble, right? Last uh, when it was released in Japan for using uh, SNK Probably. titles. Yeah. Man and his cat. How does have Kristen and Jess done an episode on that? That looks like something up Kristen's alley. I think she did say she was picking up that one. Yeah. Uh, books that are 50% off. I heard back from Emily. She doesn't have that list. So everybody will find out tomorrow. And Ooh. I didn't know anything about Soul Eater Perfect Edition. These are hardcovers? Prison Pit. Prison Pit. That was those uh, individual paperbacks oh, of that series. Prison Pit? Yeah. Yeah, it's a complete hardcover. Those individual ones oh. got really expensive. Yeah, I used, to, I used to have them all, but they fell apart. I love Cannibal Fuckface. That nice. sounds like some character um, that you would. <laughs> Soul Eater Perfect. Yeah, one, someone in the Otaku group has his copy already and showed it off. It's a really pretty hardcover edition. I have that one pre-ordered at the moment. I'm going to have to get that Prison Pit. That's awesome. I sold yeah. the, uh, those hard-to-find ones. Someone, someone give me some money, please. <laughs> so Okay, so <laughs> N-Man is saying that Soul Eater is one and a half volumes. Damn it. Yeah. I wish they would do two and mm-hmm. one. That makes it it's, so much easier to collect. Yeah, it does. It's it's basically the same as the way that uh, Viz is doing Full Metal Alchemist. Full Metal. Yeah, but this is Square Enix manga. When mm-hmm. the hell did they start publishing manga? Mm-hmm. That, and high score, high score Girl is also Squeenix. Interesting. Here in America. So they're publishing in Japan and in America. Hmm. Yes, Omar. I believe you are right. Thanks. I don't know what this Yaya Han world of cosplay is, but it's got my attention. <laughs> because of her hair? Uh, because yeah. of the gun. The laser gun. The laser gun. But here's the question. Who is she cosplaying as? Your age girl that she's making all hot and making me bother? It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> And that's that, everybody. There's our previews for this week's books. Uh, we don't know what fifty percent off is, but something tells me those Marvel Masterworks will probably be on that list. Mm. They usually are. True. And that is that, everybody. Well, I'm hoping I can get that prison pit. I'm gonna yeah. sell some photos of my feet on OnlyFans, and then we'll get me some money to buy it. No. Oh, I, you don't gross. have to buy them, Gio. I, I'm not going to show them to you. You just have <laughs> to. Gio, you, you never, you it. never tell people your weaknesses. I'm just going to give you that little piece of advice. Yeah, you, 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 you will be getting a bunch of text messages, and you're going to open them up, and you're going to be like, "Oh Jesus, I never, I'm never going to be able to unsee that." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't tell yeah, people like, your fears, man. Now that. Everyone knows how much I, I love Joey from Yu-Gi-Oh. Hayden tags me in every single post about Yu-Gi-Oh and Joey. <laughs> so, I mean, it, it's not a bad thing. I'm not saying that, but just a... Uh, now you're going to get tagged in all the foot photos, Gio. I didn't see Batman Deluxe Edition Volume 5, any word. The word on the street oh. is that DC is a mess right now. And they... Ever since they decided to, you know, do three different distribution centers, um, who the hell knows where any of those are? They may or may not show up. I thought They're it was scheduled. Not at your house. It, I thought yeah, the is fuck? it listed on? <laughs> no, they are not. <laughs> is it listed? Let me check on really quick. And well, the problem is, I, since, I think since it was. If they're using Lunar, they're also going to get different books than uh, Diamond. So it looks like they are along with uh, Wonder Woman. Have they gotten Preacher yet? Because I know cheap graphic novels started selling Preacher last week. I don't think so. Right. And I thought been Preacher out for a couple of weeks. Right, but remember, they're only using Lunar because it's DCBS. So I wonder when they'll get Preacher. I don't see I Preacher. Don't know, but did you guys see pictures? Oh wait, wait, wait! I see Preacher now. It's yeah. it's this week. Okay. Did you guys did see, see pictures of that omnibus? Yeah, mm-hmm. I've seen it in person. It, I don't like it. it looks like you don't shit. Like it? The wow. absolutes look better. Oh yeah, they're absolutely. Is that your? Is this how you're justifying keeping your absolutes? 
No, this is how I'm justifying that anyone who decided to wait for the uh, omnibus made a mistake. Wow. The absolutes are well, I mean, the like, absolutes. Are absolutes. absolutes are the best. That's they the, are yeah. the uh, most. The absolutes are going to be tough to top anyway because the absolutes for those are probably in the top five best absolutes that DC's ever put out. Yeah, probably, they look like big ass Bibles. Like it looks family like Bibles. someone should reading at the front of the church out of this book, yeah. which is what I would like to see happen in real life. But no, I, I really don't collect absolute editions. But I have those, I have Transmet, I have Swamp Thing, and those are, bar none, some of the most attractive books that I have in my collection. Can I, get I don't see, somebody's asking if Conan's on. I see okay. Conan on the 5th of August at IST. To me, the only absolute that comes close to the Preacher Absolute is the Sandman. Sandman. One. Yeah, Sandman. I think they're both on par. They're beautiful. Mm-hmm. If they didn't screw up the binding on my swamp thing, I think that that one I like I like the feel of that. Yeah, I'm intended to <laughs> boy, 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 Matthew. Boy, boy, Not Matthew, boy, I need to email you. I just forgot. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and you guys ready to wrap this up? Yeah. Yep, yep. I gotta right, go watch Sailor on. Moon with my kids. All right, everybody. So let's go ahead and uh, once again give a big, big thank you to our sponsor, Instock trade.com where you can get all the books that you saw today up to 50% off orders in the U S that are $50 or more do get free shipping along with amazing, amazing packaging. Awesome. Incredible customer service. Omni bros discount code is in the pipeline and Thursday, Thursday, Thursday is the, in stock trade fifty dollar gift card a giveaway right here on Omni Bros Live. So check us out Thursday for that. Be smart, everybody. Take your vitamins, wear your mask, and shop at InStockTrades.com. All right, let's go ahead and make this happen. Uh, one last thing, a little bit of business before we do that. Uh, shout out to all of our Patreons. Uh, Here's what we're going to do our, our nice shout out to our Patreon members. We got Joey Guzman, of course. Thank you, sir. Uh, Parker, Nathan, thank you guys so much for helping us out uh, and for all your thanks and appreciation. Uh, we have someone called Drunk T. Thank you very much for your donation as well. Uh, Steve Simpson and a new one, Mason Grimes. So Ooh, with our Patreon, we do you. have two tiers. Our link is down below in the description for our Patreon. We have a tip jar that could be anywhere from a dollar to whatever amount you want to give us at a tip jar situation. And we also have the Campfire Omni Bros After Dark tier as well. That's $5. That's one Abraham Lincoln dollar bill a month will get you the chance to hang out with us on a uh, private live stream. We all just hang out together unbroadcasted and we chit chat. Probably be on me, bros, after dark. We'll, we'll talk more about B stars and furry I mean, and what other just terrible topic that you know will kind of probably I pop get down up. With that. that is that for that. All right. And Riley, where can everybody find you at, sir? Uh, I'd really love it if everyone would check out my channel, The Omnibus Collector, uh, of course. Uh, I've got new videos twice a week, and I haven't shown everyone yet, but I made a really cool little uh, sitcom-style intro for my videos that uh, Omar laughed at me about. And, well, we're uh, good, man. <laughs> so that'll be on what my, my videos from here on out. Um, so check me out over there, Omnibus Collector, uh, on YouTube. All right, and then Omar, where can we find oh. you at, bro? Near Mint Condition. I'll be on tomorrow again. Um, I have a video at uh, Old Reader, New Reader's uh, Monstrous tomorrow at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Nice. Lou, where can people stalk you on the internet? Uh, Comics Guide 101 on YouTube for the archive of old stuff that I did. Uh, and Twitter, Comics Guide 101, where I've been just posting basically screenshots of Ghost of Tsushima and talking about wrestling that's going on right now. So, 
Gio, give us your shout oh, out. Son. Me. Yeah, sorry. Uh, you can find my channel, A Week in Geekdom, where I talk about anime, comics, manga, all that fun stuff. Subscribe if you can. And everybody, you can find me, uh, Gabe Loves 90s Comics, on Instagram, uh, Gabe Loves 90s Comics on YouTube, if you want to check out my review of the Forks World Omnibus and all my other old school videos as well. Once again, everybody, thanks again for showing up. We are out of here. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Where's that picture? Bye, everybody. Out. Bye, guys. Wait, it's time to go do camera stuff. <laughs> Boom. Later, everybody. Thank you so much. Bye.